Alpha North Asset Management is a Toronto-based investment manager which manages two small cap focused funds, the Alpha North Partners Fund and the Alpha North Growth Fund. The Alpha North Partners Fund is a long bias small cap equity hedge fund and the Alpha North Growth Fund is a small to mid cap equity focused opened end mutual fund. November 2012 marked the fifth anniversary for the flagship fund, the Alpha North Partners Fund, and with it some very impressive returns. Since inception, the fund rewarded investors with an annualized return of 21.3% as compared to the negative 13.9% for the TSX Venture Index. In October 2012, Alpha North's Partner Fund also won the award for best three-year annualized return at the Canadian Hedge Fund Awards, having achieved annualized returns of 37.4% over the three-year time period ending July 31, 2012 as compared to the 0.1% returns posted by the S&P TSX Venture Benchmark over the same time period. This marks the second year in a row it was awarded as the top performing fund over that time frame. Steve Palmer, Alpha North's Chief Investment Officer and Portfolio Manager, was previously named the number one performing hedge fund manager in Canada. In December 2012, Small Cap Power was pleased to speak with Mr. Palmer, where we asked him to tell our viewers more about Alpha North, his investing philosophy, where he thinks the markets are heading, and any companies currently on his radar. The current focus of our funds is on small and mid cap Canadian equities. So we have two main funds, uh, the Alpha North Partners Fund, which is a long biased small cap hedge fund that focuses on micro and small cap companies. Uh, we also have a mutual fund called the Alpha North Growth Fund, which is focused on small and mid cap equities. The year 2012 is coming to an end. It's been fairly good for senior markets. However, junior markets continue to struggle. Why is that? Well, I attribute the underperformance to several factors. Um, first, investor sentiment has been quite uh, negative, and that's weighing on uh, small cap equities. Also, uh, uh, concern over uh, China and growth rates there, and the demand for resources. Um, the Canadian market is heavily uh, weighted towards resource equities. Um, so the concern uh, that uh, there's less demand going forward has caused share prices to go down. So how do you see the current investor concerns playing out over the next year? Well, there's always problems in the world. There was the, uh, the U.S. financial crisis in 2008. It's mainly U.S. Uh, housing has caused that problem. But that situation was contained. Uh, the European um, financial crisis, it was, it's been our view uh, since the start of the year that that situation will be contained. Uh, we're not naive to think that it's just, um, you can fix a situation like that overnight. The current uh, big concern for investors is the, the fiscal cliff in the U.S. And uh, I guess we need a resolution to that within the next month. So um, once that is out of the way. I, I'm not sure what will be next, but uh, I think that there's kind of a, a lack of new things to worry about. So hopefully we can get, uh, get some improved sentiment in the next couple quarters. So what is your outlook over the next year for equities markets? Uh, we are quite bullish uh, for small cap equities. Uh, we've been uh, bullish since the fall of last year when uh, markets hit a bottom in October. And since that time, uh, the broader markets, the S&P and the TSX, have performed quite well. Uh, the total return on the, on the TSX has been about 13%, and the S&P is up 35% since that time. Uh, we think that um, the small cap companies will uh, follow, but uh, investors um, have gravitated more towards the large cap equities first. What indicators do you watch to get a sense of markets' directions, and what are they telling you currently? We use technical analysis. Uh, we also monitor uh, various sentiment indicators, and we use the fundamental um, indicators as well. In terms of the fundamental indicators that we look at, uh, if you look at the price to earnings, price to sales, or price to book, um, these indicator, uh, these valuation metrics are significantly below their long-term averages, um, approximately 20% below, in fact. So. Just to get back to the long-term average, you'd have to increase, the shares would have to go up 25%. Uh, these indicators are all telling us that um, the time is to be bullish right now, the small caps are very cheap, and that contributes to our positive outlook. So do you think junior stocks will see good days again? Uh, we definitely think that uh, good times will come again. Right now, almost half of the companies uh, traded on the Toronto uh, TSX Venture Index are below 10 cents a share. And it doesn't take much to have 
to get those stocks to double. So returns from these levels could be quite dramatic. Considering the volatility and very poor return in the past few years, should investors be looking at small cap stocks at all? Well, the best time to buy small caps is after a period of significant decline like we've recently experienced. Um, it's, it's a fact that small cap equities are the best performing asset class over the longer term. So it'd be prudent to have an allocation in your portfolio to that asset class. So how should investors go about investing in the small cap space? I, I am biased, obviously, but um, the best way is to invest in a fund where you get diversification and uh, with someone that has a successful long-term track record in that asset class. What sectors, if any, are you favoring for investments during 2013? Uh, we don't have any major sector biases uh, for 2013. However, we do think that uh, the resource sector may perform the best in the short term. Uh, this is because uh, we think the concern over China is overdone and the uh, resource demand out of China will continue to be strong. And also, uh, the resource sector has performed the poorest uh, this year, so we think it has room to rebound uh, quicker than some of the other sectors. And finally, can you share with our viewers any names of companies that you currently like? Well, I've been speaking recently about BSM Technologies. We've owned this company for a while now. Um, they've done all the right things. They've lowered, co lowered their costs. They've um, grown their revenue. They've had some major contract wins. The company is uh, profitable. They're building cash and they're buying back stocks, so they're doing all the right things and the valuation is uh, quite cheap. Holdra Silver is another company we like. It's, um, it's a high-grade silver producer in BC, which just recently started production, and we think it also has the um, potential to significantly expand its resource uh, next year. Be sure to sign up for our daily newsletter featuring research reports, analysis, and daily investment ideas. Small Cap Power, bringing Bay Street to Main Street.